Across town, of course, Labor leader Chris Minns is in the seat of East Hills in Sydney South. He's now leading Dominic Perrottet as preferred Premier in the latest news poll. Kenny, is there a sausage in your hand? No, there's not. But, of course, we can see the opposition leader. Mm. <laughs> it's outrageous. There's no sausage sizzle at this voting place whatsoever. Wow. But we are going to now a public school later where there will be one. But here he is. Chris Minns, Labor leader, this is the man that is hoping to bring Labor out of the political wilderness yes. for 12 years. It's been a gruelling campaign. Uh, how are you feeling now that voting is underway? Feeling good, feeling positive, and we've got a wonderful candidate here in Kylie in East Hills, so we just need to see some voters come through and we'll be fine. Yeah. There's a bit of a... There's more media here than, <laughs> yeah. than there is voters. That's right. There's a lot of media here. and uh, But, no, nah, look, we're, we're feeling optimistic and positive about the future and... We hope people vote for change. Just quickly on the preferred Premier poll, you're now just on voting day, streamed out in front in news poll, Labor looking like a majority government in the news. They can be wrong, but how are you feeling with uh, a bit of a boost in the polls? Look, they can be wrong, genuinely, and there's only, I know it's a cliche, but there's only one poll that counts. Most people haven't cast their vote yet. Labor's taking nothing for granted, and we're going to be fighting for every vote up until 6 o'clock. And this seat in particular, what, why have you come here, cab off the rank? A couple of reasons. We've got a wonderful candidate in Kylie. She's fought a tough campaign. She's been there every single day and fronted up. And, um, look, I want to be part of it. I'd love to stand with a great candidate and see what we can do with a couple of hours to go. It is a marginal seat, Kylie. It's the Coalition's most marginal seat. It's a must-win. You reckon you've got it in the back? Uh, we won't know until after the vote's closed today. And uh, I've been working hard and, uh, yeah, been not going to leave anything on the shelf. Last one. If the numbers don't go your way tonight... Is there anything you could have done differently through the campaign? Is there any regrets for you? Well, I'm not going to conduct a post-mortem when the patient's still alive, Kenny. So, um, yeah, you're going to have to give me a few hours, but we're going to fight for every vote. And, um, look, I'm hopeful, but it's up to the people in New South Wales. Chris Minns, thank you and good luck. Thanks, Kenny. So there we go. That is the Labor leader, Chris Minns. Uh, running the gauntlet, the voters here with all the, all the media that is following Chris Minns around. Uh, after this is going to be going to Nawi, which is in the electorate of Oatley. Uh, that is a seat that Labor declared war on early in the campaign. It's held on a margin just below 7%. Uh, uh, Ash Amby Hyper is the candidate there. And so that is going to be a focus before Chris Minns heads to his own electorate of Colgra, probably roughly around lunchtime where he'll be casting a vote. There's plenty more action here to come and we will be giving you the latest throughout the morning, guys. All right, can't believe there's no sausages there for you, Kenny. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Best of luck. All right, Kenny Heatley, thank you very much.